On a clear January day in 1965, and Britannia Pacific races through the fields near Long Buckby, Northamptonshire, with the Northbound Express. Early in 1963, Coronation Pacific No. 46254, City of Stoke-on-Trent, hauls at Euston to Barrow and Furnace Express along the Hillmorton Embankment just south of Rugby. Rugby Midland, in June 1963. The late sun catches the nameplate of Arethusa, Jubilee Class No. 45696, as she waits for the all clear. The whistle blows and she pulls out of the station with the Workington Barrow Express. The station front at Birmingham New Street. In September 1964, Coronation Pacific No. 46251, City of Nottingham, shrouded in steam and with much wheel spin, slowly moves out to New Street with an express for the north, watched by a crowd of admirers. Coronation Pacific No. 46256, Sir William A. Stanya, FRS, thunders through the fields near Tamworth with the Glasgow to London special for the Rugby Union International between Scotland and England on the 6th of February 1963 at Twickenham. Soon afterwards, a British Railways Class 4MT locomotive No. 76037 passes the same spot with a mixed parcels train. The following day at Crew Station, an XLMS Class 3F locomotive, number 47618, slowly drags a long train of mixed wagons across the up and down main line. Seventh of April 1963 sees the return of the aforementioned football special for Scotland, hauled again by Coronation Pacific Sir William A. Stanya, FRS. Having stopped for a crew change, a train pulls out of the station for Glasgow. In crew shed on the same day are Coronation Pacific's number 46249, City of Sheffield, in British Railways Green, and No. 46248 City of Leeds in British Railways Crimson Lake, along with the British Railways Class 5MT locomotive. The unique British Railways Class 8P Pacific No. 71000 Duke of Gloucester awaits further duties. British Railways Britannia Class No. 70054 Darnock Firth in similar situation at Crew Shed. In the engine yards on the same day, Coronation Pacific No. 46235, City of Birmingham, is preparing for express duties. This locomotive is now in the Birmingham Museum of Science and Industry. Also in the yards are Britannia Class Pacifics No. 70051 and 70052, Firth of Forth and Firth of Tay.
Colwyn Bay, on a somewhat blustery day in summer 1963, formed an attractive backcloth for a grimy XLMS Slash 8F hauling an eastbound coal train. On the four-track main line between Colwyn Bay and Llandidno Junction in August 1963, a Black 5, number 45380, travels eastward, hauling the return holiday express. On the Conway Valley single line between Llandidno Junction and Belenna Fistinog sometime in the mid-1950s, two local trains, each hauled by an XLMS tank locomotive, go past. In August 1963, it landed no station, holiday makers mill about in the entrance. Some have just arrived on the special train from Birmingham, hauled by Britannia class number 70051, 1st of 4th. The driver operates a reversing gear, and the train now of empty stock is propelled out of the station. In the same month at Conway Castle, a Black 5 emerges from the tunnel with a lot of smoke, hauling the Hollyhead Express. Looking down from the castle battlements, a Black 5 is seen emerging from the tunnel with a Bangor Express. Still in August 1963, the station at Llanfair Pukwengith Gogeru Hwyndrop with Gogogo, a Black 5, number 45307, brings a local train into the platform from Hollyhead. In the same month at Stockport Station, Jubilee Class number 45596 Bahamas, Standing for a few moments, pulls a long line of coaches out to the sidings and towards the high viaduct which spans the town. Jubilee Class Locomotive, number 45564, New South Wales, is seen leaving Leeds City Station with a train for Huddersfield and Manchester in March 1954. In midsummer 1963, Coronation Pacific, number 46248, City of Leeds, with a northbound parcels train rounding the curve to the north of Preston Station, alongside Britannia class Polar Star with the Lakes Express. A Black 5 leaves Lancaster Station with the southbound Lakes Express in July 1963. On a fine spring day in 1964, in a beautiful part of the Cumberland Hills, where the main line passes a small white cottage, a Black 5 comes along the embankment and viaduct with a southbound mixed goods tree. In the same part of the Cumberland Hills in April 1964, a Black 5 passes by hauling a train of goods vans for the north.
Soon afterwards, an XLMS Royal Scott class locomotive hauls a southbound goods train past the same spot. A few minutes later, a Black 5 heads another goods train along an embankment nearby. Climbing up towards Shap, Black 5, number 44729, presents a powerful image as it approaches Scout's Green Level Crossing and Signal Box in July 1963 with a northbound express. In May 1965, again at Scout Green, a Britannia Pacific hauls a northbound passenger train up the gradient towards Shap. In summer 1963, silhouetted against the brilliant green fields that reflect the brightness of the day, an XLMS 280 freight locomotive with a goods train fights its way up the steep shaft incline, which, for the last four and a half miles to the summit on the south side, is at a gradient of 1 in 75. Helping the northbound train is an XLMS tank engine on banking duty. Shaft Station, just north of the summit. In August 1963, a little old car climbs a hill near Shap. Outside Carlisle Citadel Station in the summer of 1963, the flower beds are quite beautiful. Inside the station, Coordination Pacific No. 46257, City of Salford, slips badly as it hauls a northbound express from out from the platform. Summer 1963, Jubilee Class number 45678 de Robec stands amongst the weeds in Stockport Edgeley Dead Yard, waiting for its pitiful death at the hands of the Cutter's Torch. Like so many of the great locomotives on this line that followed in the next few years, a victim of progress. Fortunately, however, some of these friendly giants were rescued from the Breaker's Yard. Princess Class locomotive number 46201, Princess Elizabeth, on a siding near Ashchurch in June 1967. The engine is in British Railways Green. 